Hi everyone. Now we will talk about Laravel route grouping with controller. We know that in Laravel we can do a uh, route grouping with the three ways. First one with prefix that we already learned in the last part. And second one is the controller that we are learning in this part. And there is a one more way for route grouping which is middleware. And that we will learn in the upcoming parts. So first we will discuss what is route grouping with the controller then we will make some routes for controller and even we will make a fresh controller also then we will make uh, route groups for controller and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions also all right and this is our laravel 11 playlist that that will definitely help you for laravel job interviews and in project so please watch this playlist link is given in the description box all right so here you can see that we have three routes right and with the each of route we are using home controller right so home controller is getting repeated with the each of the route so what we can do there we can create a group of the route the where all routes are belongs to the home controller and there we will mention only home controller once with that group and the all inner route will belongs to the home controller and we don't need to mention it again and again so it will benefit in the two things first one we don't need to repeat the same uh, point like home controller colon colon cl class with the each of the route and second thing so let's say after some time you want to change the home controller with the name of home controllers or maybe with the about controller or student controller with anything that you want to change right so in that case you don't need to change this home controller with the each of the route right because changing the route name uh, with the all of the routes and then test them one by one this is really time consuming process right so better is just create a group of all of these routes and define this home controller only once and the inner route will uh, belongs to the home controller and no need to define home controller dot colon 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 with the each of the route all right okay so how we can make the group now with the controller let me show you for that what we need we need a controller also so i'm making php artisan make controller and let's say controller name is student controller right and whenever we will hit you will find we have one controller inside http controllers and here we go so let me make a function there and my let's say function name is show and there I am returning something maybe list of student or something all right so thing is now we have to make a, a route for it so there let's import this uh, path first for student controller so I'm putting there use then path of controller and there you can mention student controller like this yeah all right and after that what we can do we can make a route colon colon get and inside this what we can do we can simply mention there show and in second parameter first we have to mention this controller colon colon class and in second parameter we have to mention there so show function now if we'll run our php artisan start it should work properly right so coming there and putting there show here you can see that list of students so this is working perfectly fine similarly i am creating two more routes two more function for route one is add another one is delete so mentioning there student delete it and then we can say that let's say student uh, added all right so let's make three route then for each of these uh, functions for add and last one is we can say that delete and maybe we have one dynamic route also okay let's test these three routes first let me put their add working perfectly fine and let me add one more for delete this is also working perfectly fine all right so let me create one more and that will come for the dynamic route and i'm putting there about 
and the name and I am mentioning there the name which will return right so what we'll do with this we will make this route dynamic so then slash and you can mention their name keep in mind this name and this variable should be same and now put their about and then maybe anil or something and a student name and here you can see that student deleted device student deleted because we have to change this about path also here you can see that anil sam whatever i'm putting this is coming perfectly fine right so instead of writing this student class again and maybe let's say if you just change this student controller to students controller then you have to change this path with each of the route and then we have to test now we have only four routes and maybe we have 10 20 30 maybe 100 200 routes then it's really hard to change this controller name and then test them one by one so better what we can simply do we can simply mention their route and then controller and inside this controller we can simply mention their uh, let's say home it's not home this is student controller right student controller and after that you have to mention like this is a class and then group and inside this group let's make another uh, you can say that anonymous function and then let's put all of these routes inside this don't forget semicolon at the last and then you don't need to see don't need to put this long url you can just simply put there show because student colon colon class is already defined in the group and then let's remove it for delete also and last one is about and okay we have to remove this bracket now still you will find everything is working perfectly same and fine right so that's the way like how we can use the group routing with controller if you still have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video